In this video, I want to show you the sort function. So the sort function works very well at placing things in, say, ascending or descending order and sorting out information from high to low or low to high or in alphabetical order. So we've got some data on hogs. Maybe this is a breeder's information to where we have a uh, pig number, the breed, when were they farrowed in 2018, what was the number farrowed, number of surviving, number of surviving males, number of surviving females, preg check, when did they farrow in 2017, the number farrowed in 2017, and when was that pig born. So we've got a lot of information here. And maybe this, this particular breeder has tasked, they gave you all this information and are tasking you with figuring out a certain things. We're, maybe we want to sort this information to try and figure out if we need to get rid of some pigs or what are some pigs that we're going to call out because they're, they're underperforming. So let's see how the sort function could work. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I want to go, I'm going to want to cell reference all of my categories right here. So I'm going to say equals my first category, which is pig number. And I'm going to drag that across. I want to all, I want to reference my categories and I typically want to cell reference rather than copy and paste. The reason why on this kind of stuff is if I come in here and I change a category to pig number one, for example, it's going to automatically change down there as well. That's kind of why I want to cell reference that kind of stuff. So we're going to cell reference that. And then we're going to sort. I give you some information right here. I said sort by number farrowed in 2018, high to low. So let's go ahead and see what the sort function looks like. So we have the sort function. I'm going to click on this little question mark, and it's going to tell us we are going to sort range, which column are we sorting, and then is it ascending, and are we sorting column two, is it ascending, and things like that. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The first thing we need to highlight is our range. So just like always, our range is our data. It's all of our data. So we're going to highlight all of our data. Next, we need to sort the column. So we want to sort by number farrowed in 2018. So that's the column we're looking for. So we're going to find up here number farrowed, and we're dealing with 2018 with this data. So we're looking for this number right here, this column. So we're going to make sure we highlight this column. And we are also going to make sure that the number of rows match. So we go from A4 to K28 on our data. We're going to go from D4, row 4, to row 28 on our column as well. We need to make sure that those rows always match. Otherwise, it's going to throw off an error. So now that we have the column selected, we get to decide, is it ascending or descending? So if it's ascending, going from low to high, then we're going to type in true. If it's descending, we're going to type in false. So let's look at what it would do if we type in true. So if we type in true, the number of pharaoh, you can see it starts off at 6, goes up to 10, and then all of these blanks down here, uh, the blanks will just automatically go down here. But it goes from low to high. That's not necessarily what we want. We want this to be descending. So we're going to type in false. If we type in false, now we've just sorted all of our pig data by number farrowed from high to low. And just like that, we can now see which ones have, have farrowed the most. So let's go ahead and do another one. Again, whenever we are doing these, we want to go ahead and cell reference those categories. I'm going to jump all the way up here to the top and reference the original categories. So I, I cell reference that very first category, A3, and I'm going to drag it to the right. And we're going to do another sort function. We're going to say equals sort. And this time, we're going to want to sort by birth year low to high. So we're going to want to sort ascending, but we also want to know when was this animal born. So we're basically going to be looking for, for the oldest pig to the youngest pig. So we want to know who are our older pigs. So again, Whenever we're doing sort, the first thing we're going to do is highlight all of our range, all of our data. We're going to look right here. We want to sort by birth year, low to high. So we're going to find our birth year column. And so what happened was I went to click on that birth year, but I hadn't pressed a comma yet. 
So it, it automatically acted like, um, like I was trying to redo that range. So I had to re-highlight my range. Now I'm going to press a comma and I'm going to sort, uh, highlight this birth year. And then I'm going to hit another comma. And this is going to go from low to high. So it is ascending. So we're going to type in true. Now, if we look at all of our information, we see birth year from low to high. So that's exactly what we're wanting to do. And we can see who are our older pigs and who are our younger pigs are down here. So we're going to do one more sort. Again, we need to cell reference our categories. I'm going to jump all the way up here to that very first category title. And I'm going to highlight across, drag that across. And then we're going to do a sort here, but we're going to do a multiple sort. We're going to first sort by surviving piglets, high to low, and then by birth year, low to high. So we're going to jump all the way up here. We're going to highlight all of our data. And then we need to sort columns. So which one do we want to sort by first? It says we need to sort by surviving piglets in 2018, low to or high to low. So we're going to do surviving piglets, number surviving. And we want to go high to low. So that's going to be descending. So this is false. Then we're going to sort by another column. We're going to sort by birth year, low to high. So we need to actually highlight this column now. And we need to go low to high. So we want to go, is it? to or we want to go ascending so this is going to be true so essentially we're putting in multiple categories in here now and i press enter and now what did it do well if we look at number surviving it's going to go from high to low just like what it did in the very first sort and then if we go by birth year it's going to sort it by low to high but we see that we get uh, 2013, 2016, 2016, and then a 2012. Well, let's look at these first three. These first three, it, it's sorting where these are the number of surviving goes up. And then birth year, if, if there's, say, a tie on number surviving, then it sorts by birth year. So we get down here to this 2012. And let's just highlight all of this, these three rows. In 2000, or the one that was born in 2012, they only had 10 surviving. These three had 10 surviving. So it's going to automatically sort the number surviving first and then by birth year. So let's say you've got multiple characteristics of how you're going to sort these animals to determine which ones are we going to call. Um, maybe we want to keep kind of our younger pigs, uh, but the ones that are producing the most surviving. So that we're going to sort the most surviving up to the top. And then we're going to sort by birth year to try and figure out which ones are our younger pigs to where maybe our lower producing ones like these down here with none that are surviving. We're probably going to get rid of them, especially these three animals that produce none, but yet they were born back in 2014. They're getting kind of up there in age, but they're not producing anything. So maybe we don't want to keep them around. But essentially, that's the sort function. Um, whenever we're doing the sort function, you always highlight your data first. That first column, say whether it's ascending or descending, the second column, and then ascending or descending.